Hello once again. This is a follow-up from the last tutorial about the Xcode iOS uh, calendar. And today I'm going to show you how you can use it using the storyboard because the example on the files are uh, it's using a, a different file or a different way of creating the uh, user interface. So in the example that you downloaded from the hit um, GitHub it, just using a XIB file which is this one but I'm not using this type of files anymore or at least I never used them so uh, according to the information this is for I think using iOS 4 or 5 going back to that but right now we're on using I'm using uh, iOS 7 so I'm gonna show you how you can use this same example with your Xcode, uh, with the latest Xcode. So I just made a quick single application um, for the iPhone and I'm gonna show you just what you need to do. So the first thing I did is come here and just drag the folder uh, from the download. DSL calendar view, just drag the entire folder into your project. You don't need to change anything in here. There's nothing to change there, at least so far. So the next thing I did, I went into the delegates. There's nothing there that I did. In the sample download, they do have uh, some code in here, but I'm not using that. So in the dot .h, I don't have anything either, the header file. In the, in the implementation file, that's where you need to actually write the code. And it's not actually writing, it's just copy and pasting. So let me show you. So from the delegate, there's some code here that I was talking about. You don't need none of that. Um, the edge, there's nothing. Here's what you need to do. So basically what I did is just copy this part, this section, and the view did load section and from this one I skipped and I copy all this all of this code just copy and paste it so that's what I did I just pasted this section added this code just paste it very easy so copy all that up to here I did paste that section and then now if you try to run it right now it's gonna fail because there's a section that uh, you need to do so this is your basic controller that you get right out of the box now in the example I saw that they were using a view uh, for that as a container or, uh, or something like that to contain a controller so that's what I did I just went to the controls I got a view I kind of size this make this size the view and the next thing you need to do and do not forget this because it's not gonna work is that you need to go into your um, your controller here and make sure you um, connect this guy C calendar view and that guy is right here is this property calendar view there's an outlet you need to connect that so what I did is just drag this one to your files owner actually sorry drag this one to the view it'll make that connection now if you don't do this section it's not you'll see a blank screen or an error too so I already did run this guy and it does work as you can see it's working perfectly Oh, I think it was. Let's see, where's my code? Right here. Let's see. Yep. It's a little slow, but it might be the simulator. But as you can see, well, hello. Well, it did select that guy and it did tell me that it's 1 5. It might be slow. I haven't completely tested this guy like the simulator but as you can see it is working so far I can see that it's really slow 
so there must be a bug somewhere in the code and as you can see Xcode is saying there's this two warnings in here might be something to look at so I'm gonna test it out on my phone and see if it actually works but hopefully this video will help you um, find out how you can add your control your calendar control to your latest Xcode project thank you for watching